Right, I had to unwrap this because I somehow lost them within the space of a second. But yes, hello. On so to today's video second is going hand book. to be a long-awaited box. Yeah, like unboxing. I said, this one's different for everybody. Um, the other two books will be the same, but this one is different. Monthly in and February. we got the hunting. Um, unfortunately, I didn't post my Ooh, January which looks box very creepy. If you saw in my by Gabriel um, videos. Um, that Mesa. I said I was really ill. Uh, where really does January, the adventure like, really end and the nightmare And I tried begin. filming a video and then I rewatched it and I was like, I just so, can't. I think my like doorbell just went all over the place. It's not great. Um, but I got some really good bo uh, books in that box and I actually have the reviews coming up very soon. I've already read the books and have some thoughts about them. And I've got some really interesting ones. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I didn't post the video. So um, I might do like a wrap up of reviewing both the books in that video like do a belated kind of like this is the books that i got and this is what i think of them um but yeah this video is going to be the unboxing of the february box um again i'm still using an old camera so if the quality is not great that's why but we're just gonna roll with it um so yeah let's open this box up and see what we get also if you hear background noise it's still half term, it's kind of the end of the February half term. A couple more days and my son will be back at school, but he is um, playing in the lounge right now. <laughs> so if you hear noise, that's what that is. So yeah, let's open it up and see what we got. I'm excited. So yeah, this is our horror book, um, horror book subscription box. Let's open this up. And see I get the full guts box so it says full guts there and then this is what it looks like when we open it up inside so we on top we have the like second hand book and yeah what should I open first let's go with the um, the treats because I can see them right away and it looks like chocolate oh chocolate slab and it's all white chocolate and blueberry swirl. Blueberry is my favorite fruit. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, sorry, the focus is just, the focus on this camera is not as good as my old camera. But um, it's not actually the camera that's broken. I'm trying to find a memory card that fits that one because my memory card actually broke. And the memory card that I have in this camera won't fit that camera. And it's very frustrating, so. Anyway, I'm gonna have to show things from slightly afar. Um, so yeah, it says artisan chocolate slab handmade in Lincolnshire. So that's nice. I love white chocolate and I love blueberry, so I'm definitely going to enjoy this. Does it say the company that it's from? The Chocolate Factory. But yeah, that looks really, really tasty. It's just sugar, whole butter, milk chocolate, um, natural vanilla flavouring, freeze dried, blueberry powder. So yeah, I love chocolate. I love all chocolate. So I'm definitely going to like that. Um, now let's go on to the drinks that we get. Oh, so we have a Lion's um, Percadilly Intense and Deep Lion's Coffee Bag. My husband really loves these. Oh, we then have an immune support. I could do with that right now. Because <laughs> like I said, I've just fought off what felt like the plague and I now feel like I'm getting ill once again. Um, so we have Twining's immune support, blackcurrant and raspberry with echinacea and elderberry. I like all of those flavorings. It's gonna show. So yeah, I'm probably gonna really like that tea. One moment. Okay, so. The next tea we have is a Dorset tea, and this is new, I've not had this one in this box before. And it's Dorset tea and it says Forager's Fruits. Ooh, so it says it's blackberry, strawberry, raspberry, uh, flavoured infused, inspired by life in Dorset. So it has apple, hibiscus, rosehip, uh, blackcurrant, raspberry, uh, strawberry flavourings, raspberry. So yeah, that sounds really nice. A nice little fruit tea. We then have the uh, Galaxy Hot Chocolate and a um, Nescafe Cappuccino, which I always enjoy them. 
So, on to the books. As always, I'm gonna leave our secondhand random book to last. That book is different for everybody. And let's go on to the other books. So, the first one we have is What Kind of Mother by uh, Clay McLeod Chapman. So, this looks interesting. I've not heard of this book before. It says an ink black story about grief, courage, and what we'll do for those we love. Hmm, interesting. So let's read what it says on the back. It says after uh, after striking out on her own as a teen mother, uh, Maddie is forced to return to her hometown in Virginia with her 17-year-old daughter, while nothing um, with nothing to her name. She scraps together a living as a palm reader in a local farmer's market. Um, it's the market that she is at the market that she reconnects with her high school boyfriend, Henry. Oh, who is now a reclusive local fisherman whose infant son, um, Skylar, went missing five years ago. Everyone in the town is sure Skylar is dead, but when Maddie reads uh, Henry's palm she's haunted by a strange and disturbing visions that suggest otherwise hmm. and she follows the threads of these visions Mally discovers a terrifying monster waiting at the center of a labyrinth hmm, that is coming for everyone she holds dear so that sounds really interesting you have kind of I'm guessing a rekindled romance um, between these two characters and she was a teen mum and she's come back with her daughter and she's, you know, meeting up with this person she knew in high school and they're now on the hunt for their son. So, yeah, is it going to be like a... It seems like it could be, maybe not paranormal, but have some kind of like magical element to it because it says there's a terrifying monster or is that referring to somebody who kidnapped his son? Um, this sounds intriguing. So it says, an entertaining brew, sure to inform your nightmares. Mm. Deeply unsettling, a masterpiece. So yeah, this sounds like it's going to be quite dark. Um, I think when things revolve around children, it always puts an added element of horror for me. Um, but yeah, that sounds really intriguing. And it's got like the cot there with like a beachy scene. There's like crabs and stuff. So yeah, this looks like it's going to be interesting. The next book we have is 19 Claws and Blackbird. Hmm, so this is what it looks like. I like the cover. I like the black with the orange. That's quite cool. Um, I'm not going to try and... Oh, it's by the same author as Tender is the Flesh. Because I was going to say I'm not going to try and pronounce that author's name. But I also recognise that author's name. Augustina... Bastarica, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm horrendous at pronouncing names, but that's the name. And it's the author of Tender of the, is the Flesh, which I have read and I really enjoyed. It was a very unsettling, disturbing story. Um, yes. Oh, it says it's got gore, bewitching your lord. Hmm. So let's read what this is about. It says, in these... Tense, chilling stories. Oh, so is it going to be like um, short stories? Should we have a quick look? Ah, yes. It looks like it's a selection of short stories, which I really like selections of short horror stories, especially if it's like all by the same author. Um, I've been really enjoying them recently. So, oh, I'm excited by this. So in these intense, chilling stories, bodies fall from the sky, perfectly manicured nails conceal grisly secrets, and violence pulses through gleaming uh, fantasies. Hmm. From the hellish vision of, obsession, of obsessive relationships, uh, Augustina takes us to the dark heart of the human desire and fear. Shocking, brutal, yet glittering and uh, glittering with sharp humour. This is a breathtaking dive into human monstros. I'm not going to pronounce that. Monstros. <laughs> monstrouses from the master of contemporary horror hmm illustrated by sarah moses 
So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I really like uh, short stories, horror short stories. Um, I'm probably going to read this one first and then I'll get round to this one. Both very interesting books. Like I said, I really liked Tender is the Flesh. It was a story um, that was basically the world had run out of like there was like a disease or something on the animals so we couldn't eat the meat so we were eating human meat and it was supposed to be like this lab grown or like farm grown meat that didn't weren't really people but they also were people and it was very graphic and it was a very interesting story I really enjoyed it so yeah to have some more by this author I am very very intrigued like I said I also love short stories because you can kind of dip in and out and there's quite a few stories so yeah I'm definitely going to be reading this very very soon now let's see if there's anything else in the box Ooh, what's this oh is this like an art print I like art prints this looks to be the, um, what was it called? The Overlook Hotel from The Shining. So yeah, I'm sure that's the carpet from the, is it the Overlook Hotel? Is that what it's called? But then you have the hotel here. It's definitely the hotel from The Shining. I love that film. I like, went through a phase of like re-watching that film all of the time. But yeah, I really, really like that. I like art prints. I like architectural uh pictures so that's interesting we then have a few other things oh we have quite a few other things so we have we have a bookmark so this is like the art bookmark here and it says oh photo competition um a chance to win a signed james herbert harback i love james herbert books uh, take a selfie or, or video um, with the creature's eyes as your own and post it to Instagram, TikTok or Facebook and hashtag the Bonneville Book Club. Mm. With two friends who like horror. Ooh, I think I'm going to be entering that competition. <laughs> we then have the Bonneville Book Club bookmark which has the short horror story on the back. We have a sticker which is Final Girl Shit, which I like. Sorry, it's not going to be fantastic quality in seeing it. We then have a signed sticker and this is by the author Clay, uh, which is the author of this book. I like when I get the signed book plates, I like to stick them right in the book as well. So that I know who the signature is and it's nice to have the signature with the book. And then we also have a little author's note, which they've started doing this recently where they'll have notes from the author where they write a little bit about the story they've written, um, where like the inspiration come from or whatnot. And I really like that. I'm gonna try and start including these with my, because I don't like to read them all in this video or be too long, um, but I will do it when I do a wrap up of the book. I'm gonna start doing that, I think. So yeah, I think the only thing left to do is to open the second handbook. Let me just double check there's nothing else. Yep, so now we're going to get on to the second hand 